weren't supposed to have one. And I'm gonna be okay with that. It is, I've already prepared my mind, my body, and my soul. Sis, you might not be on nobody's beach booty butt naked. I'm just saying. All right, so it is Teacher Appreciation Day, week, and this is what Reagan is giving her teachers. It says, thanks for a perfect, wait, thanks for a picture-perfect year. Sincerely, Reagan, a Target gift card, a drink, popcorn, and candy. So, now she has eight teachers. Watch them do six. The shade, shady boots. But anyway, I just glued, made, printed off these sheets, all some little stickies, put them on these sticks, put the gift card on the stick, and voila. Happy Teacher's Appreciation Day, week, whatever. Hey, girl, hey. I feel like such a bad vlogger. Anyway, I just got back from getting my nails done and running a few errands. So I want to show y'all what I got. Didn't need it, but hey, anytime they show something new, every time I see something new, I want it or I want to try it. At least to say, yeah, I tried it. Anyway, I need to hurry up because it is Battle of the Bands. And Reagan is already headed that way. But I just got some new lashes. I don't know if y'all have seen these already. So I've never even heard of this brand. It's called Salon Perfect Pre-Permed. Go ahead and perm the lashes. Pre-Permed Push-Up. Can y'all see those? I think they're super cute. I like the real dark dramatic look and then this is called soft and smoky let me get closer in the light now these are really gonna give me what I think I want she cute and then I got couldn't stop there just couldn't stop there I'm not even gonna show you the drawer that I have full of lashes already I'm addicted anyway so I got these for Reagan because we stopped going getting individuals it was costly and then we never could get appointments it's called naked lashes by ardell and then oh these are mine these are equal lashes we'll make them eco anyway i think those are pretty see everything says new so if it says new i want to try it and then I got Reagan some, um, I like the Ardell, the, the foam ink. And they, they just like a very everyday little lash. Those little baby lashes, honey. Um, those are not for me. She stumbled with big girls with lashes. All right, let me stop playing. I'm gonna do my makeup. It's a little windy outside today, not sure why, but it is. Um, but it's supposed to be like, I think 70 degrees so I think I might do some sweats yeah and that's it so I'm getting ready to do my makeup and something with this head disclaimer I know I'm always filming with this shirt on yeah I wear it a lot but please know it's clean and it's just an easy throw on with some sweats type shirt so don't judge me judge your mama
happy Mother's Day to the baby's mamas, mamas, the baby's mamas, mamas. Ain't that how, um, is that Andre 3000? Okay, maybe not. All right, I am on my way to the mall. I need to exchange some stuff, and I really don't have any other, or actually return. I really don't have any other time to do it, and that clock is ticking, that window of opportunity, and I need my coins, so. All right, first things first, Starbucks. Need some Java, badly. Why does this car always sound like that? I think because I never drive it. So, true story, I didn't drive this car for like months, and I tried to crank it up one day and go somewhere, and it wouldn't crank up. Look at Danny. Choker. It would, I mean, it would start, but it wouldn't go. So the thing is, is that if you don't crank it up every day, like I guess it's on a system, and it's, it doesn't program. So they had to like, you had to like get it to like going 60 miles per hour um, to jump start it. So I don't know. Anyway. It feels like that to me. So, all right, probably more than what y'all wanted to know, but it is what it is, Joe. Ain't nobody on the roads this morning. I guess the, the turn up comes later, huh? I don't mean to be mean, but I can't stand group texts. Like, I cannot, I cannot. And I appreciate the people who have sent me individual, like, Happy Mother's Day. And I feel bad because they're sending well wishes. But I cannot, they make me cringe, especially when everybody start responding. The initial one doesn't make me cringe. It's the ones that follow. Hit them on the sidebar, please, and thank you. Okay, that is my um, pet peeve for Mother's Day and every other holiday. Hit me on the sidebar. Thank you. All right, so I just got back from Getting a massage, yes it is. 10 a damn clock in the PM. Um, let's see what's popping off inside this house. Watch this, a whole joke. Reagan, what are you making? Street corner. Mm -hmm. Street corner. Where have I got attitude? Look at my taco. <laughs> Make it it's like the sauce soft. is making the, too, the shell too soft and it's not cooking and hardening. Well, maybe you love it. Uh, no! no. no That's the piece of whole purpose. I'm saying maybe she could give a suggestion. Can I try shrimp? Yeah. Tell me if it, it tastes okay. They're cold. Yeah. I've, I've been trying to figure out this taco stuff. I mean, it's a little loose. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's fine, right? Is it seasoned properly? I didn't fine. use measurements. Ray, Ray is fine. What's wrong? No, it's not. Why are you whining? It's soup. Why are you whining? Candy, oh. it's soup. Oh, Should I add more? Huh. Is that gonna is that gonna tighten it up? Or is it make it more loose? It's oh. okay. Should I add more? Is it gonna tighten it up or make it more loose? He's oh. not Mexican. I'm Mexican, so you need to be asking me. Should I add more? No. My little chefs. My little chefs. Well, why did Tice disappear? What he do? What he do? Tice, I just need to know what what did you do? I'll wait. Uh, nothing. Well, there you have it, folks. Mother's Day 2022. I did buy me some stuff. I went to Victoria's Secrets. So they had this same little new line. So this is actually an oil that you're supposed to put on like once you get out of the shower. The honey oil and then the honey butter. And I got this body butter to match that. They are loud and ghetto and out of order. I went to Nordy. And I, got, I just got a top, but um, I make a wardrobe. A little Kelly Green top. So cute. All right, 
that's it. I'm gonna let y'all know what dinner tastes like. The shrimp was good, the little one that I tasted. I'm tired. I am tired and it is almost 11 o'clock. She ain't ate today. She is not. Hopefully you all had a great Mother's Day and I'm gonna chat with y'all later. All right, y'all, so I am at some tire place because the tire pressure light came on in my broke best friend's car. Y'all, I have no clue how to put tire, air in a tire, but I'm gonna try. Y'all see it, it say air, bam. So I'm getting ready to venture and see how to do this thing. Do you leave the car on? Do you turn the car off? Is there a cap that you take off? Is there something that's gonna alert me to make sure that the tire don't blow up because I don't put too much air in it? Like, I need some guidance. All right, everybody about to hit. Say a little prayer. Amen. Hey, a girl, hey. Okay, so this will be my fourth time, count them, one, two, three, four. Fourth time going down to the court to try to get this passport. I did not realize trying to get a passport would be this much drama and confusion. It's, I mean, it's like signing over papers for your firstborn. It is ridiculous. So the first time I went, they said that the birth certificate that I had was not the right birth certificate. Well, that's the one California sent me. I don't know what's right, wrong, or indifferent, but you all need to specify. So they said I had this, I have the short version, I needed the long version. And to go on to Vita, Vita Records, Vita Check, uh, Vita Meta Vegemin. Take bottle of Vita Meta Vegemin tomorrow. That's Vita Meta Vegemin. Vegemin, hell, I don't know. To order to expedite and order one. Okay, so I submit my application to them. So I go on to fill out the information, send off, send it off. Then I get an alert from them saying that they needed me to get a form notarized. So I go get the form notarized at my job and they send it back and said, well, you have an ink stamp. We need the embossed stamp. Did you say that? Uh, um, I'm just asking for a friend. Did you say that? Okay, so I go try to find someone with the embossed um, em, um, little stamp. My credit union went there. The girl notarized it for free. And I take it back. I send it back to Vita Records. Vita Records says, I get an alert saying that they stamped it over where it says stamp here. And that the date, they want the day first, then, then the month. Now listen, I'm certified to teach. I am not certified to notarize. So you would think the notary knows where to stamp, where it says stamp here. It's just seen too much. So that 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 was that. So then I'm just like, well, maybe it ain't meant for me to go. Maybe I just need to look at the pictures and y'all just share the memories with, with me. So then I get a message saying that UPS has delivered a package. I tell Danny, open the package. Open the package, guess what's in there? The dang on birth certificate. Now mind you, I have not gone back and made the corrections that Vita Record wants me to make or re requested me to make. So I'm confused. How did the dang on birth certificate end up on my doorstep? Explain, Lucy, explain. 
Nevertheless, I have my birth certificate, so I take my birth certificate, my passport picture, my passport application, my ID, back down to the court. What old girl said? Um, do you have your marriage license? Hell, for you to say bring my marriage license, that you, you never did you say that. And I've been here more times than the law should allow to try to get a freaking passport. So I'm gonna tell y'all right now, today is the last, and I mean the last day that I'm going to try to attempt to get a passport. Because if I don't get it today, that just means you weren't supposed to have one, okay? You weren't supposed to have one. And I'm gonna be okay with that. It is, I've already prepared my mind, my body, and my soul. Sis, you might not be on nobody's beach, booty butt naked. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, she's back in the car, so that means she didn't get locked up, right? However, the sheriff did get involved. The sheriff was involved. So, walk into the office. There was one other person in there being helped. A couple with um, a set of twins in a stroller. I go, I, you know, you have to go to the little kiosk and register and get a ticket. I did it for myself and Danny because I saw he had pulled in. I sat down. I even played with the baby. I'm just giving you a time, a timeline. Play with the, oh, God bless America. Y'all done made me miss my turn. Anyway, play with the baby. Um... After that, the couple, Danny comes in, go, go. Danny comes in, the couple leaves, and the worker gets up from her desk, comes into the lobby, turns off the light, opens the door and says, we're at lunch. Now this is the same lady that I didn't deal with the last three times I walked up in there. Mm -hmm. So Danny and I are looking at each other like, unbelievable, Danny's like, Un you, Danny, unbelievable i'm like how rude how rude how rude how unprofessional can we be how not once did you open your mouth when i walked in the door to say we're getting ready to go to, i'm helping this last customer and we're getting it's we're getting ready to go to lunch not once because i would have turned my happy self around and i wouldn't have said anything to you but you let me proceed as business as usual that's my problem. So I told Danny, oh, I got time today. I got time today. I'm on my planet. I got time today. So we're going to sit in that good car and wait an hour. And did. So we go back in. About five. I said it was like five till. I said, let's go ahead and walk in. So we walk in, go upstairs. I walk towards the door. I hear her yelling, are you here for a passport? Half of you know we here for a passport, but I kept walking, because y'all know when things don't apply to me, I keep it moving. Because he had already said I wasn't going to deal with her today. I wasn't. I wasn't. I had already gotten the manager's name as I was leaving out from their lunch break, asked the, the, the little uh, sheriff on duty, who is in charge of the girls. I ain't trying to say shit. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. Who's in charge of the girls? So he told me Pam. Mm-hmm. So when we get back, I stood by the door. Danny waited in the little waiting area that she, you know, instruct directed him to wait in. Mm-mm. You know me. I'ma buck the system. The end of the day, I'm about the system, especially when you didn't piss me off. So I stood there. She came about two minutes till it's time for them to open. She came, opened the door, closed the door. Um, then some other lady came out, turned on the lights, and unlocked the door. I assumed that was Miss Pam. She looked like a Pam. So I said, Excuse me, are you Miss Pam? Am. So I explained to Miss Pam what happened just today. I told her, but see, but this is not our first time here. We've been here, this is our fourth time, trying to get a passport. So I explained to her exactly what transpired. And I said, I don't feel comfortable with her helping me because I don't feel as if our documents would be secure. 
and we would ever get a passport. Could you please assist us today? So Miss Pam, as slow as she was, Miss Pam was slow as molasses, but hey, choose your, choose, choose your poison. Choose your poison. So, I told, and I did file the complaints. They have a little thing. How was your service today? Mm-hmm. Because I want y'all to reach out to me. And I, and I told Miss Pam. So, Miss Pam said she was going to have a conversation with her. And so, in our leaving, Miss Pam made a note. I just, I deeply want to apologize. I, I will be having a conversation with her. And then she kind of just looked at us like, this ain't the first time we've had a complaint about Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am gonna get her ass whooped. I'm telling you, she keep playing. Somebody is going to meet her in the parking lot. Now y'all know I can't fight, so it ain't gonna be me. However, I'm gonna be the person to write the letters. Somebody is gonna whoop her ass. I promise you. I promise you. So, needless to say, that is the last time trying to start a passport application and conclude the application will I have to go into that location and see Miss Ma'am. Because Miss Ma'am, something ain't right. Something is not right with her. But somebody gonna get it right with her. Mark my words. Hey girl, hey. It is Saturday. I am at the stop sign. Take a sharp left turn onto Central Church Road. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I have not been diagnosed with acid reflux, but I have a lot of symptoms that say I do. Um, and then my In medicine. In 1.9 miles, turn right onto Chapel Hill Road. My prescription kind of not overlapped. Just when it got approved, I just wasn't on that side of town. So I haven't had the medication for the past two days. And boy, did I pay for it last night. I mean, I threw up on myself. I had to take a shower. I know TMI probably want to hear, but it is what it is. It's, it's that thing called life. So, yeah. So I've just been up. Like, I, every time I try to doze off, I wake up choking. So trying to die choking who I out running errands before my hair appointment today I'm getting a new tape in install I think this is gonna be the last one because it's starting to get hot last night at the game it was spring game it started to rain natural hair and rain my natural hair and rain don't mix so what did she do she left the game I went right down to my classroom. Excuse me, so I don't even know if anybody scored after I left or what, but I know we did win anyway. Um, so yeah, so I went to the cleaners to pick up articles. I really need to find a um, an seamstress. So I want to do alterations. And then, I went to Target because they got my water back in stock. Don't sleep on it. I'll have to show you. I'll do a little haul when I get home. And then I went to, kind of like went in order. I went to the mall because I had some exchanges. At the next light, turn right. And then all the stores weren't open, so while I was going to make exchanges, I ended up in stores I had no business being in. And then spending money I had no business spending. So, it is what it is. So I ended up getting something out of H&M and out of Forever 21. And then I went to... At the light, turn right onto Chapel Hill Road. I went to Bentley's to get the dog food and treats. Dakota ain't have food too today, but she still lives. So we don't go to like PetSmart and stuff like that because their stuff has a lot of preservatives. Blah 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 blah. In 3.7 so miles, the place that right I go to, State to Route 166, is not close, and they close at a certain time. That's not conducive to my schedule. So she got to eat when she can eat. 
she all right she's still living um so i did that that's where we get their treats like they bake their treats and you kind of it's, you know like you weigh them or whatever it's not in bags so i did that and then i went to starbucks i got a iced drink for the first time can you believe that and y'all know i drink starbucks religiously i have never gotten a ice now i've gotten a frap and you know i always get the hot but i got an ice one day because it's hot outside and it just didn't make sense at 12 o'clock getting a hot drink so i got that and then i put gas in my broke best friend's car i told her i would take it and put gas in it for her and that's it i'm gonna go home i'm supposed to go to a birthday party tonight so i was looking at my the schedule for my hair because she's gonna do this treatment in it also and it looks like this whole process is gonna take like it said three hours i want to see if she can like cut i know i'm talking all to death but you'll be all right i want to put like um, a rinse a black rinse because these little gray hairs is popping up a little too frequently so let me see if she can do a rinse um, the new takes you got to take these out the treatment install yeah so but I said all that the party starts early so I won't be done if it's if my appointment's at 3 30 she says it's three hours the 6 30 I think the party starts like at five five to nine I guess they say I want you to get in get out get in get out so by the time I get home, got dressed, I don't know if I want to go with like makeup already on and then just come home and have to slip something on. I don't know yet. I got to see how I feel when I get home. So, all right, I'm going to stop talking out of depth and focus on the road. So let me show you what I got from my outing today. <gasps> I'll be a monkey's uncle. <gasps> This water bottle was full and it has wasted all on my freaking floor. And in my purse. All right, so I think I recovered from my tragedy. Um, although the water did spill and it did spill in my bag, my, my um, purse, um, it was water. So it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's get into this little hall before I was so rudely interrupted. I was telling y'all about that water. So it's good gather. I know you've seen it before. But for a minute. They stopped having them in stock. For whatever reason. Like it took forever. Now they had like the small ones or the big gallons. But I like the ones with the flip top. So. I've been on this wheat thin kick here lately. I'm gonna have some peanuts, which I know I don't need the salt, but I just have to taste for some peanuts. The birthday card, just in case I happen to stumble up on the birthday. Birthday cards, to me, are a waste. We can beg, we can agree to disagree. I think they're a waste of money. Um, maybe every now and again will you save a birthday card. You don't save all the birthday cards. You don't. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Somebody was like, well, let's start a shadow box. I'm good. I got enough projects. She's turning 50. So I was thinking of just putting a $50 bill in there. So I went back to Victoria's Secret and exchanged, um, unmentionables all right then i went to exchange this top just a cute little bandeau i guess the way that they had it they had it tied around the neck so it tied in the front it's a little cute little top i like the colors more so than anything i just got a little windbreaker jacket had on a black one and I liked it so like a little prop wind, windbreaker jacket then I got my goddaughter I wore these shoes to work this week and she was saying how cute they, they like Jesus shoes to me but I like them 
liking because they're platforms. So I wore these. They hurt like the Dickens though. These are at H&M. They're like 35 bucks. But I think like maybe once you stretch them out, they hurt right now. So anyway, I got those for her. And then I got a couple of tops from H&M. I like the color. So some cute little bandos. I got this one. And then this I got because I have some pants that could match it. This little satin material and the color. It is, I'm not sure what time it is. I've got my little sidetrack. We're putting together the thing on diffusers. That is so time consuming. I don't know if y'all use diffusers, but you gotta put the water in it, put the oil in it. It's too much. It's too much, especially when you have multiple ones, and maybe that's why it's too much, so. I did that, I lit candles, and that's my Saturday routine. Right now I'm trying to, I'm gonna see if I have a minute to sit down and then figure out if I'm gonna do makeup or not. Cause right now, we bear. And for the sake of time, should I do it or not? So that is that. I cannot wait to get this head washed. I can't wait. It's, it's this special, it's like a red treatment kind of steamer. Yo, so I'm super excited. It's like 30, it's a 30 minute treatment. The new install for me. You need a hot comb. Mm -hmm. I went through it with the hot edges. Comb. Where? Mm -hmm. Hey girl, hey. Okay, I wanted to come on here because I bought this thing. It's called Sleepy Tie. And it's supposed to allow you to. Um, like whatever curls you had in your hair, the next, um, you wrap it in this little sleepy tie and your curls are supposed to look the same the next day. So here's the test. Now, so now, now the advertisement showed a lot of people that didn't look like me. Okay. So that's a disclaimer, but we're going to see if it worked anyway. So let's take a look. To be honest, it gave me more curls. My curls, my curls are not this <laughs> Come on, sleepy time. I'd recommend it. I'd recommend it. And you ain't gonna wrap and roll your hair or curl it the next day so it's a win for me all right so i am at the atm i just left starbucks there's this um i don't know if y'all told y'all a long time ago the starbucks that i go to girl the first time they open like the girl would sing and serenade you and i was like wow that's different um but anyway, so there's this one worker. Girl, if you are ever feeling down about yourself, she is just the biggest self-esteem booster. That works there. She is such she is so sweet and she says it um like every time I go. Every time I go, she just is so warm and fuzzy. I've this is my second day getting iced and iced drink and mm, the first one was okay the first one was better than this one and see I tried to be a big dog and get a larger cup because last time it was just full of ice so I told them easy on the ice this time and then I got a grande instead of um, tall mistake mistake but I'm gonna drink it because Starbucks is not cheap. All right, I am. I tried to go into Victoria's Secret. I don't know if you guys have tried the Victoria's Secret. They're um, not, and it's actually pink. They have this whole body butter line that they've introduced with these oils and whatnot. Bomb. You can thank me later. So, although I like the Fenty, it's not 
it, it's not it's not Fenty but it's Fenty on a budget you can thank me later so I was trying to get some for my broke best friend and these little pop-up little pop-up stores don't have it so well that's a lie because even the main store but I'm not even gonna say Arbor Place is a main store that mall is a joke it's a joke so um once hopefully where we're going to for this ballet presentation has is over by the noon so hopefully um i'll have enough time to go to that victoria's secrets over there and see if i see it if not i'll just do it online because they're like right now they're two for 15 which is dirt cheap so not dirt cheap but it's inexpensive Okay, it's the way that this woman just hopped out of this car and started beating up this guy. And the other girl on the other side with the baby, she didn't jump out. We're in the hood. Oh my gosh, she is whooping his behind. Do y'all not see that? You have some knack and she is straight beating him up. Either they don't know, don't show. I don't care about what's going on in the hood. All right, Kennedy and I are on our way out to, where are we going? Pretty Little Tacos. So I'm super excited about that. What was the one taco that I wanted? I don't know, I didn't even look at the menu. I've never heard of this place till today. Really? Yeah. I thought I told, no, I sent it to y'all. Oh, let me, look. I gotta look at the video yeah, again. Yeah, so Pretty Little Tacos, here we come. I'm kind of, hopefully they stay open longer than 10. But we're supposed to get there by nine. I just don't like going when places are getting ready to close because that means your service might be a little crappy. But who can make a bad taco? This one's me. Yeah, all right. Taco, taco, <laughs> we're going for the margaritas. <laughs> Wait, is that how you say it? Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> What makes it vegan? It's it's um, cashews. No, no walnuts and there's something else. Is it cauliflower? <laughs> I, I, I know it's walnuts and something. But we had a little drink before we started, so we really fine. yeah, hers margarita, fine. of course. And we My had signature drink. And we met some really cool friends. We got new friends. Yes, I have a new I have a new hiking buddy. I'm not going hiking. <laughs> But she can do other things. Yeah. Too. She likes she can bags. Go shopping with you. Sis likes bags, so we're good. <laughs> What's in Rick? Mark, can you see my makeup? Can you see my makeup? I know what they like, so I just. Get them on, guys. Let me see. I just, I only put on concealer and blush and some highlighter and mascara. Mm -hmm. I look orange. Me too. This lighting is not right. I don't look orange, but I look different. All right, seat change. Kennedy is back seat pimping. Yeah, it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. And it's a lot of traffic. Yeah, it's that time. What time is it? Yeah. And it's the weekend. Everybody it's the weekend, baby. All right, so we are on our way to drop Reagan off. It is company show. So, still trying to get ready. I need to blend this lip liner. I need my bangs to fall. Okay, let, let, let me work on me. Let, let me let me keep working on me. Will you say something? I drove like this. If you drove like that, then you're not following the rules. If I drove like this. You're not following the rules. Who drive like that? That boy? No. Somebody lying. Hmm? She never invites him. Yeah. 
All right, we made it. Are you seeing the seat? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to put my stuff in the back. So, why are you getting dressed? Why are you naked, sis? I don't think I need that right now. Who's bringing that back in? Because I'll probably be coming right when the show is starting. Oh, you might going to come... Um, how long is your practice supposed to be? I think we're supposed to be at least 15, 30 minutes. So uh, we should already miss it. Well, let me know if you need to stay and I'll go. Okay. Just like black folk boy. Can't make no way on time. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because see, if, if you've already missed it, then we didn't need to come. She talking about, she sure, she talking about, oh, you're not... Tell me she didn't need her bag right now. I'm like, uh, what do you mean you don't need your bag? Because when I come back, it's going to be closer to the showtime. So I'm like, well, I'm sure I've already missed rehearsal. Well, then we could have took our time. Because we knew it was going to be late. So now I'm confused. Where are we going? I need to get gas. I need some meat. Coffee or something. Are you getting her some meat too? Um, she's supposed to be checking to see if. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so we are at. Where are we? Frank's. We're at Frank's. Old, old meal. Old meal. And not meal. And, but I'm meal. and Pleasant Hill. And Pleasant Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a white one. That's where we had our banquet upstairs. So we just got charred oysters. Why are you stop playing with us? Get them. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Reagan, Reagan's having an urban moment right now. <laughs> my nose is because my skin breaking out. Reagan's touching your face. Why don't you get on the couch? Just right now. Oh, Lord. That's bone on my choke. All right, so we're going to try what well, I've already had raw oysters Me too. Before. And so it's going to be. So we're going to take oyster shots. Oyster shots, oyster shots. All right, so we're gonna... <laughs> well, you gotta reach it. Okay. Have you squeezed the lemon on? Yeah, on all of them. You did? Yes. Okay. What is that? It's, I don't know, it's some kind of red sauce. Katie never told me what it was. She don't know what it's called either. It's good though. I like it. You don't like it? All right, put so, some of this on it. Yeah, definitely Tabasco. We're getting ready to take oyster shots. And what about it? This one's a big one. Wait, are they? You gotta make sure it's. Oh, it's just gonna slide off. You should. Oh, yes. Danny, you take one. <laughs> okay. Hey, someone has to record. Ready? All right, so I just pulled up to the graduation location. I am here very, very early um, to help Mr. Powell. I don't know. He just needed some help. So I am here to save the day. Just kidding. I'm trying to figure out should I take all my stuff inside or what? I'm definitely not going to take this camera because I'm supposed to be working, not playing. So I do need my glasses, though. So this girl can't see. And I'm trying to see should I take these gifts in or wait. So they're in the back seat. I made a couple of my girls some bouquets. My regalia is in the back, and <laughs> my shoes are in the bag. 
um, leaving Reagan's recital. Yeah, it's a whole weekend event. And uh, yeah, let me walk in and at least be like, yeah, I'm here. Something I put these money. Y'all see them? Where's my zoom? My money bouquets. Oh, the watch is malfunctioned. That was a little ghetto. So, anyway, let me walk in. Catch y'all on the flip. We got graduates to graduate. 480 something. That part. So, it's my colleagues. I don't know how to put this damn regalia on. Like, get it together. What? 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 Okay. And did what? That's why you gotta keep you a spare, sis. Why did you the whole shoe come up? <laughs> why am I only on the green shoe? You gotta trip out of the green shoe. Send me home. Hey, girl, hey. Okay, so I am at, maybe y'all can see. Vining's Dental. Your girl got cavities. Yeah. Your girl got cavities. So today is field day. Um, thank God today is a virtual day at work. I did have a meeting this morning. It's voting. Um uh prelim voting. So no school today. Um I also looked at my placard. Why does that say expired? in 2021 we are in 2022 right so i need to put that on my list because y'all know i got this full life those that know now full life um so i need to do that i need to go to the credit union they tried to play with your girl but i keep telling y'all it's almost summer and i got time to play with y'all i got time i got time so i need to stop by the credit union and my broke best friend had her, the mean girl spent the night last night. So I told them that I would make them brunch. Mm, that goes against my better judgment, but I'm a woman of my word. So, and then I really want to go to perimeter today and I'm halfway here, but I left the stuff that I need to return to Zara at home. So maybe they want to go too. I think they're talking about playing kickball. Who is playing kickball? Because I think it's supposed to rain. But anyway, that's not my monkey, not my circus. Um, I'm early. I'm about 20 minutes early. That's a lie. 15 minutes early. And I think I might try to go in, but someone would be mad if I got to sit. So I'd rather sit in my car than sit inside because I'm sure it's cold. Why is the dentist as cold as the hospital? I know that they have stuff cold because it's supposed to kill germs but it's cold so I have a jacket on it ain't thick Kardashian it ain't thick but hopefully it will do its job but y'all know they used to have blankets in this dentist now you know you know if you got to give your folk blankets it's cold it's cold. I don't know why I don't bring my camera because I always think that I'm not going to vlog, but then there's always an opportunity for me to vlog and I really need to close this vlog out. Yeah. So I don't know if this is going to be the end of it, but if it is, you know the deal. Subscribe. Stop just looking. Stop just being a little, stop, stop being nosy. I'm just playing. Um, subscribe. Let's get these numbers up. It's hot on the block over here. Anyway, I'm babbling. Let me go in and get these cavities filled. What grown adult still gets cavities? The one that loves, let me show y'all why. I'm gonna tell y'all why I got cavities. So, when Easter rolled around, <sighs> gummy bear folk came out with individualized gummy bears. Meaning, like 
they do have this um it's there i'm walking into boat not a lot of people here um so i just added that to my to-do list because i felt it was my civic duty to do so so i'm here at the langston hughes Don't ask me one more for us. Finished voting. And while I was in there, the power went out. Mm. Interesting. Conspiracy. Oh, let me stop. Hopefully, my vote will be counted. They said that the machines did not go down. But I told them, call me. Call me if you need me to come back. The sister girl will come back. First of all, ain't nobody in there but me and the workers. I'm on my way home. I've been gone since 9.30. I have not eaten and I'm tired and I'm hungry. All right, y'all, I want to end the vlog, but before I end the vlog, I wanted to share with you all what happened yesterday at Starbucks. These Starbucks, yes. So I order my normal summer drink and I've been ordering it the last few times that I've gone to Starbucks and this particular Starbucks every time I go the price is substantially different like at least by a dollar that's substantial I think so I asked the girl when I get up to the window what made it that price because I'm not used to paying that price for the same drink and she says well what are you used to paying so I asked her if I pulled it up on the app you know would it show like previous orders I don't know that's what she said not what I said I said well um no I said well maybe she didn't understand that I meant her app Starbucks app. and I said the Starbucks app I don't know okay well is there someone that does know so she turns to the girl training her a little. I know she was being trained, training her, and says she got an attitude. Uh oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, now we close. She got an attitude. First of all, Heffa, who is she? Who is she? But let me introduce you. She. She wants your manager now. See, she's done dealing with you. Now go ahead and get your good manager. Cause what you're not gonna do is call a customer rude in their face and they right there at the window just because you didn't know the answer. That'll make me rude. So she says, so the other girl was like, well, what, you know, what can I, you know, what can I help you with? And I said, are you a manager? Cause I don't want to talk to nobody but a manager now. She blew it. So they go and get the manager and I'm explaining to the manager. I said, now she's the rude one. Excuse me. She's the rude one. You don't call a customer rude. You learn that in customer service one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sorry. You don't call a customer rude. And I said, I told the girl. So the girl, she back there laughing or whatever. And I said, see, you're giving me McDonald vibes. Like you're, you're, you're giving me that you should be working at McDonald's, not Starbucks. Mm -hmm. So she was like, well, the manager, I apologize. You know, she's, um, you know, in training. I said, well, she need to go back in training. Mm -hmm. Get her off of the ones and twos. She needs to go back in training. Go back to watching the videos before you put her out on the floor. Because you're going to chase away some customers. And one that solicits your establishment quite frequently. Needless to say, the heifer put in the wrong order. That's why it was more. It was her error. So, I just want to share it with y'all. I know, I know y'all probably more than what you wanted to hear, but you got that good incident yesterday yesterday was a just a, a day it was a day went to vote i think y'all saw that you, you saw how that played out but anyway all right i'm gonna end the vlog here subscribe tell a friend tell somebody know somebody know somebody you know until the next one